Hey guys, in this video, we are going to export the logs of failed test cases in a JSON file. Now, what are the different things that you require while debugging an issue? Okay, so you require network traffic. All right, so I've already created a video on capturing the XHR request. Then you need to capture the commands that are being displayed in the command log. Now, the command could be the native Cypress command and it could be your own custom command. Okay, so this is what we are going to log in this video. Now, retry. So how many times your test case is being retried? That's again an important information, right? So if there's something which got fixed in the second run, but then why did it fail in the first run? It's equally important, okay? Then comes the DOM snapshot on failure, okay? So yes, I mean, there's a configuration in Cypress which captures the screenshot of failed test cases. Then we also have uh, the video recording, okay? Which may help us in debugging. So now this is a, an important ticket which I came across and this was open long time back and there are a lot of comments in here. Currently it's still open, right? And it talks about, you know, uh, how do we capture all of these things to smooth up the debugging purpose? And uh, well, uh, the solution uh, Cypress suggesting is we are going to make these logs available both in our dashboard and in the uh, desktop app itself. But what about the CI? So I'm not using the dashboard service, let's say, and I'm running my things into CI CD mode. Okay, then those command logs and also uh, we also have the browser console log in the command log when you highlight a command okay when you click on that command you open the console that you then you see the information regarding it all that information is very handy and more so when you're running your uh, solution into this ci cd mode okay so let's go ahead and see how can we have at least this thing implemented okay so we are gonna export the logs of all the commands Okay, into a JSON file when a test case fails. All right, so we require a plugin for that, and the name of the plugin is Cypress Fail Log, and this is the documentation of it. So you got to install it as a dev dependency. In here, you see Cypress and Cypress Fail Logs. So Cypress is a prerequisite or peer dependency for this. Yeah, we already have Cypress in place. Uh, so yeah, copy that and run that in the terminal then this is the command that you have to copy so copy it now go to uh, support index.js and in here you have to paste this command okay so it's pasted save it close it then go back to the documentation and it says in the plugin just have to add one task which is fail okay so you got to copy this much all right go back in the plugin index.js all right in this block paste this thing save it close it okay now i have got these two test cases all right and uh, this is my custom command one and this is the normal one okay uh, one of the test case in each of this file is failing okay so in this case this one will fail and in the custom logging i'm expecting that this particular element should not be visible though it's visible and once everything is completed all right, I should see a logs folder under this Cypress folder. Okay, so now this solution works in both UI and headless mode. So the first test case is passing, uh, second test will fail because the element is visible in here and we are saying that it should not be visible. Right, this is the second attempt. All right, and uh, let's wait for this to be completed. All right, it's done. And now you see the folder logs is created and inside that you have the JSON file, okay? And this JSON file contains this information. And this is my custom command, which is also being logged. And here's the uh, exception that was raised. We have this log file in here. Now, where this information is coming from. So for that, let me show you uh, the node modules. And inside that, let us open the module that we just added. So Cypress fail log. And inside that you have these different files. So I open index.js, okay, and I scroll down. So you see in here, right, fail test case information. So these are the things that we are logging to this file. So I'm gonna close it, uh, and I'm also gonna close this, okay. And now let's move on to the uh, 
regular Cypress command and here also one test case is gonna fail so one more file would get generated now this time let's do one thing let us execute that in the electron and see if there is any difference so I'm gonna click on it the console is already open whatever that is being logged to your uh, JSON file okay you'll also see that information in here right in the console okay you see uh, it is logging all of that in here now the third one is being failed and whatever is being failed so all this is already logged to your browser console okay and you go back and you see the other file now the name of the file is very interesting because it starts with your uh, you have this field okay then it pick this client side and uh, then it picks the you know this sweet name and then the test name that's why you have this huge name okay all right so great so this is how you can export the logs of your failed test cases i hope you like this thanks for watching